G'day team, welcome to ZooTube. From this, to this. In just nine days, intermittent fasting. Does it work? Stay tuned. G'day team, welcome to ZooTube. And today we will be talking about intermittent fasting. Now the photos I showed at the start of this clip were photos that I posted nine days ago on my Instagram personal page, okay? But first I should probably give you a little bit of background about me and who I am, if you don't know who I am. Uh, my name is Nathan Helberg, I'm a movement specialist. I developed a training style, a bodyweight training style in Australia 10 years ago called Zoo. I now present and consult around the world, uh, teaching coaches in armed forces, elite sports, and PTs all around the globe with our training methodology, which again is called Zoo. I have extensive knowledge with movement and training and also nutrition. And this video is about intermittent fasting. So again, those photos were literally within nine days for me. But what's more important is in the comments I put on my Instagram, Instagram page, I spoke about being on this journey with my wife. So the reason I'm doing intermittent fasting and this video is to help my wife, my queen. And if you can relate to the following, if you can relate to the following, if you've tried every diet and nutritional plan, counting your macros, calorie deficit and all that, blah, blah, blah. If you've tried that for years with poor results, minimal results, and you just feel like giving up and just throwing in the towel, please keep watching. Because a little bit of background on my wife, uh, she's in her mid 40s, we've got four kids, she's carried weight, we've tried everything, literally. I've tried all my skills and knowledge to help her lose unwanted body fat after our four kids, and nothing's worked uh, to a large extent, nothing's worked, and a few weeks ago, it was at the stage where she just had enough. And she basically said, you know, this is it for me, and I just need to get used to that. I refused to believe it, so I delved into it, intermittent fasting, researching and researching, and we started our journey nine days ago. But enough from me. I'd like to introduce my wife, my queen, Alyssa Helberg. Let's give her a round of applause. Well, that's the kids in the background. That's the brats. So normally I get interviewed, so this is a little bit uh, different for me, which is pretty cool. So, babe, do you want to tell? Look, and this is just this is just honest. This will just be an honest uh, interview, and what we're we're about to deliver because we got a heap of comments, didn't we? Oh yeah, especially women who are completely thinking that's the same that's going on with them. The same, you know, thanks so much for posting it. You know, great for your wife, so brave to be able to talk about that. And for me, it's nothing for me, but for me to actually say that I'm, I'm on this journey with my wife. So again, we're shooting this video because we've had we've been inundated with messages, haven't we? What do you eat? What are you eating? How hard is it? What do you do for training? <laughs> All that sort of stuff. So boys, if you want to head over to my channel, I'll put more videos on that. But yeah, what, what are we eating? Um, can you shoot a video? Can you help us understand what intermittent fasting is and all the rest of it? So we're just going to delve straight into it. Yep. I, I might give you guys a bit of background on what intermittent fasting is, just the real basics and what made me say to my girl. Well, let's, let's give go it, on it. Let's give it a try. So we're on the 16 to 8. So you want to explain what the 16 to 8 is? So I, we finish eating sort of by 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. Then we pretty much stop eating for 16 hours. And it's just water for 16 hours. And then about 1, 30, 2 o'clock, um, depending when we finished eating, when we can start eating and, and refueling then. Yeah, so 16 hours of fasting. And then we've got an eight-hour window of uh, eating. Now, I'm a traditionalist. I was raised eat every two to three hours. Stomach empties, fill it. Stomach empties, you fill it. You, you charge your um, metabolism, eat breakfast like a king, dinner like a pauper, just old school. Um, I was raised old school with nutrition. And I've tried again everything, haven't I? Yeah. And yeah. I've tried everything. I've tried, I, I can't eat wheat. I can't eat um, a lot of dairy. I can really eat minimal dairy. So it's been years now since I've eaten um, simple carbs. So I don't eat, I don't eat potatoes. I don't eat bread. I don't eat chips. So I, I don't, yeah, I, there's a lot I don't eat, but... <laughs> and, and the results? Well, we did a, an intense sort of 12 months where I was doing 
walking and running twice a day, um, clean eating still, and I still only managed to lose it was about four and a half kilos in nearly 12 months. Yeah. It was very depressing, actually. It was kind of like, I hate running, I hate exercise. And on top of that, I'm married to him. And Is that good or bad? Well, he loves exercise and can't understand why I don't like exercise. I'm asthmatic, so if I do something high intensity, if I feel like I can't breathe, I panic. So that's a that's a mental thing that I just don't like doing. So I don't. I've never really done exercise and sport and teams and any of that. And it should also probably be noted, guys, with what I do uh, for a living. I'm sort of always in the spotlight, delivering. Um, my level of fitness is pretty decent, and you know. My girl, Liz, she will hide in the background. She never wants to be involved because she's very self-conscious. Um, again, if you can relate to this for uh, the females out there where, you know, your boy, your man, your husband's getting the results and you're not. And if you're watching Instagram with all, you know, these perfect bodies, trust me, that's not real, okay? That's not real. They're not real people. This is real people. I'm real. And, you know, let's talk about the thyroid problem. In your family. Oh, yeah. So huge history of that. I've got my sister and my niece have both got Hashimoto's. My mum has a, um, a thyroid tumour and my daughter was um, diagnosed a few years ago with Graves' disease, which is a, a thyroid where it attacks itself. So there's thyroid history in there. But every time I've looked for the magic way to get the thyroid, thinking it was a thyroid, they've always said, yeah, no, nah, it's not really too bad. But we know the history is there and we know that there's a problem there with the hormones. Plus, I'm 47 and I'm pretty much premenopausal. I've got lots of issues going on. Four cesareans. Lots of moving parts. So we've got four kids. The oldest is 19. Um, our youngest is eight. Uh, he's behind the camera, as are our other two daughters. Um, he's uh, eight. And since then, my girl just hasn't been able to shift the weight that she gained through all those pregnancies. Um, that she held for like 12 years. So again, if you can relate to that, and I can, I can tell you it's been a helpless feeling for me to watch her and she, when she goes for it, she, she goes for it, she sticks to it, you know, counting the macros and all the rest of it. She eats clean, she was training, and it just, it was just, it was hard for me to watch because she was sticking to it and all I could say is you just got to stick with it, you just got to stick it's with gotta it. It's got to work eventually, but it just wasn't working. It just wouldn't. So for all the coaches out there, you know, that say, you know, just it does work. No, it doesn't for some people, okay? If there's thyroid problems, if they're insulin resistant, which she definitely is, and lots of moving parts, for some people it just doesn't work. So again, that's why we delved into it. Now, we've been on it for nine days. Your honest feedback? Uh, it's been fairly easy for me. Um, as a mum, I'm quite easily to not eat in the morning, I can eat the afternoon, so I haven't had an issue with the not eating. Um, and the food, I like the food, so that hasn't been an issue. And the training is not ridiculously hours or none of that, I'm doing that. So we've done photos, you're not seeing my photos for a long time. <laughs> so Can I only show mine, okay? So From she... this, do you know how long I was clicking for? So, but... I've seen differences in that first week of photo differences. So, it, so were you, were you happy with the photo differences? I was happy with the photo differences. I'm probably more happy with the the mental differences. I'm not I'm not so tired in the afternoons. I'm not wanting to run off and have nana naps when I've spent too long on the computer. Um, so, babe, do you mind telling them how you feel this month compared to last month? Oh well, being hormonal. Um, and so what was happening, and, and I couldn't work it out, I thought I was going a bit crazy, was I, I started going on these real like depressive downers after my cycle. Um, and so much so that pretty much this time last month, I was in the bedroom, locked in the bedroom. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I just wanted to cry. I literally wanted to jump out the window. I had enough. I just didn't want to do it anymore. And I didn't even know what I didn't want to do. I just didn't like anything. I was wondering how I was going to go this month. It's only been a week on this program, and this month I'm completely different. I've had a huge amount of stress even this week, and yeah, I'm. She was outside yesterday having a coffee with the kids on the driveway, and the kids are like, "What?" <laughs> Just an amazing turnaround. That's completely different. Amazing turnaround. So, guys, 
a couple of things that really sunk home for me. And again, if you're just watching my wife going, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, please share this uh, video with family and friends um, because this is, this is just truth and this is very important for people uh, to hear. Again, we're not experts in this, but this is our journey that we'd like to take you on uh, with us. We want to shoot a video every week as we go through this journey. But a couple big things for me of why I you know, approached my wife about this intermittent fasting after my research, uh, a couple things that you need to take note of is it's, it's a whole shift in thinking, especially if you're a traditionalist. Uh, high in fats and good fats like fatty bacon, we'll go to it in a little bit more detail later, fatty bacon, you know, we're all raised on minimal fats, lean meats, lean meats, no, it's not lean meats, it's some good fatty bacon in, in our combinations. Um, another big rock for me was insulin release. Now, I knew about the carbs and all the rest of it, you know, my girl's been on many times slow releasing carbs, but I had no idea that insulin gets released uh, when the stomach's activated. So meats, as an example, can activate uh, insulin. That, that was an aha moment for me, literally. Because, because if in, what was that? Coffee with milk and bread. Yeah, 100%. And then you know, even BCAs, just plain BCAs, there's a minimal insulin release. But you've got to understand, like growth hormone and insulin, the two strongest hormones in the human body. When insulin is released, without going into too much detail, we can shoot more videos for that, but when insulin is released, it shuts down all fat burning, okay, all fat burning hormones in the body, which Liz wants to turn on. It immediately shuts them down and turns on, turns on all the fat storing hormones. So even if she was eating super clean, she's still getting these insulin spikes. Does that make sense to you guys? And once insulin, insulin is in the system, it's there for quite a period of time. So with this fasting period, I knew that after a certain amount of time, her body's got no choice but to switch it's got no choice but to switch to the fat burning, okay? It was a, it was a huge moment for me because I know all about the, um, all about the glycemic index. Glycemic index, thank you very much. Oh, and here's one for you guys. Did you know the glycemic index is only 15 minutes long? Won't go into that, but we knew all about the glyce glycemic index, slow releasing carbs, vegetables, and all the rest of it, but I didn't know insulin was released with um, proteins and things that aren't even related that we're taught that we're taught that can spike insulin. So that, again, was a massive aha moment for me. Anyway, let's get into, people ask, what's your combinations when you eat? So well, take it away. This has had to be sustainable, achievable. I've still got three kids at home that need to sort of eat and I don't want to be cooking gazillions of meals. So when we start to eat, my probably my first thing we do is our, um, our water concoction. It's not the tastiest thing, but you get used to it. Okay, so guys, look up Thomas DeLauer. Is it DeLauer? Thomas DeLauer, yeah. Thomas DeLauer, awesome. Love his videos. Shout out to him um, on intermittent fasting. Again, we've only been on this uh, nine days, but we've seen massive results. I should also say that we're doing it with our two teenage, or our three teenage uh, daughters, are doing it um, with mum and dad and seeing fantastic results as well. Oh, we've got that we've upside got of vinegar. vinegar. Are you kidding me? So guys... This combination here is to replenish, replenish the minerals that you are losing. Um, a lot of people don't realize, they think that you know, when you train is when you burn most of, it, of your energy. Well, it's not. Training is a very important component inside all of this, but 70% of your energy is burned just living life, your daily activities. So if you get it right and switch your body onto fat burning, that means even if you're not training, okay, your body will be burning energy and if we switch it to fat, well, then it stands to reason that's going to start tapping these fat cells, shrinking them down, and you'll start to see massive changes in how you look. The other aha moment, sorry, for me was one of the videos I watched that said, treat the body, not, not the, the weight. weight. Treat the body, not the weight. It was just like an uppercut. I walked into an overhand right from Dan Henderson. It was, it was unbelievable for me because it's like, it makes so much sense. My wife's got so many moving parts. Mid 40s, four kids, insulin resistance, just treat the body. Get the body right and uh, the weight will follow. So, this concoction here is uh, what we can sip on. We have plenty of fluids in the fasting period. And do you want to tell the combo? Uh, so, in a cup of good filtered water, we use um, it's about a sprinkle of, the, of Himalayan salt. 
a little sprinkle of what's called cream of tartar. So that's your sodium, your potassium. So we need that for the cells, for the electrical charge. Again, we're replacing. We just use a cap minerals. full of the apple cider vinegar. Uh, it's about a tablespoon, and this is cranberry juice without sugar or no, not made with grapes, just pure cranberry. And I put lemon. Sometimes I put limes, but lemon juice has been easier to find that way. Put that in water, and we have that about half an hour before we eat anything. Yep. Because that starts a yep. stomach, yeah, something about that. Yep, absolutely. So this doesn't break your fast. Okay, guys, so if you're tired of drinking water, this also replaces, if you're training hard like me uh, in the morning on an empty stomach, you lose and you're sweating, you know, two or three pounds of sweat each session, especially when you're doing the takai. This here will replace the minerals that you're losing. Very important that you're replacing the minerals. Again, potassium, sodium, and the rest of it. So. And when I get hungry, if I have that, Yep. And a big glass of water and that, it takes away that hunger. It gives my mouth some flavor too. So, so this is a combination that we mix, Yeah. correct? That we mix, and we have it an hour, half an hour before our first meal. If you take this alone, you'll see massive benefits. The coffee, have you talked about that? Okay, so this is this is my favorite. This is like Bulletproof You guys should coffee. know the Bulletproof. Bulletproof but coffee, if where you they don't. use the brain octane oil, the grass-fed organic butter. That's XTC oil, but yeah. The bulletproof oil somewhere in the cupboard. Um, so this is unsalted. Don't put salty butter in your coffee. It's gross. And we use fresh coffee beans and the coffee beans ground. So we literally make, make a coffee. Um, we use a, an American coffee machine because we're in America. So it's just coffee and water. So it's a um, big black coffee. 50 grams of butter and I mix it and that's my coffee. And I don't have to have any... Um, any milk or any anything to it, it's perfect. And I'm a normally a pumpkin spice latte, love my sweet kind of person drink. This I don't need to add sweeteners, I'm fine with that. So guys, if you're struggling to do the 16 hours, you can work out your own combination, okay, when you do your research. If and what you're trying to do is push your breakfast back. You're trying to push your breakfast back. Breakfast is called break the fast, okay? That's what it stands for, because your body's in a fast mode when you sleep. The more you can push that back the more we can tap the fat stores. Does that make sense? If you're really struggling and you're, and you're, you're hungry and you think you need to eat, have one of these. There'll be, yes, insulin um, release, but minimal. Minimal compared to food going in. So have a bulletproof coffee, and then you'll find that that fills you up. It does with me. I could push my meal back another hour. Yeah, absolutely. Easily an hour. If you, yeah, you can push your meal back that. another hour, and it's fat. Good fat. Just to have butter again. How weird is that? <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's just, it's a paradigm shift in thinking for me. Totally crazy. Um, but again, the results that I showed you before, boom, boom, um, it's from that. So let's go through the foods. So when I eat lunch now, I'm not a very creative cook by any means. So lunch is your first meal? Lunch is my first meal. So let's About call it, let's call it, uh, yeah. My breakfast at lunchtime. Yep. Um, my favorite thing at the moment is I like, like shredded zucchini, capsicum, some asparagus, bacon, Fatty bacon. Um, we cook it in coconut oil. I sort of saute it all around. At the moment, I've got this great cauliflower um, and peas curry. It's just cauliflower and peas frozen. It's great to throw into the mix. Some days I use a bit of um, leftover pumpkin or that from the night before. And I just saute it in two eggs, lots of salt, pepper, and. So, how many strands of bacon? About four. So she puts four strands of fatty bacon in. Fatty bacon. So a lot of people are like, what? But it's working, okay? And it's, again, it's just this whole shift in thinking. Your body makes fat. Your body makes cholesterol if you don't eat it, okay? Because it's so important to the body, especially to the brain. So it's, it's, it's good for the body, okay? Everything in moderation, of course. So she has four uh, ones of bacon, what, four or five yeah. strips of... I, I literally make a great big fry pan full of it. Quite often it's stuffed with like baby spinach or um, mushrooms. So good vegetables, good, vegetables. good bacon, yep. two eggs inside it. She fry, uh, fries it all up in coconut oil. It smells just fantastic. None of this bland rubbish. It's it got smells great fantastic. Yep. The kids, they often have that as well. Hi, hey, kids. Yeah, they often have that um, as well. They're behind the camera. They're the, cre the creators, the producers, <laughs> editors. Um, so that's what she has in the morning. For me, guys, I'll either have that. Or I'll go for good old broccoli. Tuna. Tuna slabs, okay? Tuna um, fillets. I'll have that one tin of tuna. I'll have my broccoli in a big bowl, but I'll also add split pea. 
huge believer in split peas and lentils, okay? Do some research on that. But I have my split peas um, together in that and I mix my bowl up, add a bit of cumin powder for flavoring, cracked pepper, and that's me. And you like avocado as well. Yep. Avocados, I, maybe half an avocado, good fat as well. I, if I'm going to have something um, that's not hot, I'll tend to have avocado with that, but I just use extra coconut oil. So in our eight hour window, we're trying to get down to three meals, okay? And then eventually down to two meals and maybe a coffee in between. And I'm averaging about two meals at the moment, but I'll have my big lunch and then when I get sort of hungry a little bit later on, I pretty much I'll have some cashews and a coffee because um, I don't want to... And our other daughter likes, okay. what's this one? Walnuts. Walnuts. Our other daughter likes that, so, you know, healthy fats again. Yeah, and that, and then I can go through to, till dinner. So I'm pretty much having two and a, a bit meals. So guys, a lot of traditionalists will be looking in and going, what, it just doesn't make sense. Because for me, when I first looked at intermittent fasting years ago, I was like, it just doesn't make sense. There's no way it's working, it's, it's a scam. And I was super skeptical of that. You've got to be eating three hours to rev this metabolism. How can you be going this long without it? Doesn't the thyroid set the, the rate that all the cells work first thing in the morning? And if you don't fill the stomach and it's empty, then all the rate of all the billions of cells in the human body will be working at a lower level, which you know is helping fat storage. All of that stuff just went out the window with this intermittent fasting. But she's on two meals a day with a bit of a snack in between, and she's getting fantastic um, results. I've seen heaps of guys, like heaps of our trainers and that do intermittent fasting, and looked at their results and gone, wow, that's amazing, but they're men, so I was pretty skeptical it was gonna work. So I will say that for all the uh, guys out there, we get results, less hormones, we get results um, quite easily. And again, if, you're, if your girl, your wife, your queen is struggling, you really need to get on this with her. But again, lots of moving parts um, for, for my list. So these are spit peas that I have, my broccoli, my tuna, my avocados, my bulletproof coffee. And I have, um, I'm down to pretty much two meals a day as well. So I've had some questions coming to me going, Nathan, how's your training going? Well, I'll be honest, I struggled the first five days. I struggled the first five days just with eating less, okay, just because I love to eat and I love food. So it was a struggle for me, but again, it was to do this journey together. My workouts uh, suffered as well, just energy-wise, but I knew my body was just switching over. Did I crave carbs? I don't eat that many uh, fast carbs, but yes, I was craving carbs 100% which uh, surprised me because I didn't think I was... Um, carb dependent. <laughs> I'm that one. carb dependent. And I was. I've leaned out um, a heap. I've leaned out a heap. Um, I do train a lot more intense. One thing my wife said at the start, which you really need to take on board, is sustainability. Oh, look, if, if, I'm gonna, if I see results, I, am, I stay motivated to stay on it. If I don't see results, that quickly diminishes. So... I was skeptical, I thought I'm going to stick to it, and the first week's photos, I was, okay, I'm seeing results, but I'm not, I can cook easily enough, I can eat easily enough, it's not interfering with what the kids eat, um, they're enjoying the food, and I can do that much training, I'm not ridiculous with training, I, it's about 10 minutes, isn't it? So that's the other thing, guys, um, I, I won't talk about training too much in this video, uh, we'll shoot another one for it, or if you want to jump onto my uh, Nathan Helberg. YouTube channel, there'll be more videos on training there. It's crazy but, training. but I will put a little clip in. Boom! <sighs> How you train during the intermittent fasting is your choice. I know with my wife, to keep it sustainable, it's not that. That's what I do twice a day. I do the tuck eye in the morning and I do zoo in the afternoon. Tuck eye, which I've just finished, on an empty stomach. And then during my eight window, I do zoo in the afternoon. And that's what works for me, for my wife. But to be sustainable, it's just 10 minutes of low impact 
high intensity training. And guys, it's 15 seconds on with a 45 second break. I'll say it again, 15 seconds on of work for her with a 45 second break over 10 minutes. Very, very sustainable to what I've tried with her in the last 20 years, trying to uh, shed this unwanted, unwanted weight. So again, the training needs to be sustainable for you. Don't get on it to get off it, okay? Big trouble signs, warning signs for you there. Don't get on it to get off it. It needs to be a way of life, okay? A shift in your thinking, get attached. So as you can see from that training, uh, I talk about it being sustainable. So for my wife, she does 15 seconds of work with a 45 second rest. She trains with our two daughters. So they go 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, and then a 15 second break. And then they do that um, in a repeat order for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, that's it. So is that sustainable that's compared to what you were doing before? Yeah, because I can do that and know it's only 10 minutes, it's not gonna kill me, I can, yeah, I can. But it's 15 seconds, you commit, okay? 15 seconds of work, you yeah. get that done. Get it done, it's only 15 seconds. But again, for me, uh, the training component is just 30%, 70% of your energy burn from your body is just through your daily activity. So that again stunned me. So the 10 minutes that I gave for my wife was for it to be sustainable. Now guys, if you were ever using the term diet, don't, this isn't a diet, okay? This is just a way of living, okay? It's a window that we're doing, 16 and eight. That's just um, the pattern of our eating, but this is just a way of life, correct? Yeah, we're just changing it to- And it's good. Yeah, it's achievable too, because living in the States, we've got different foods to get used to here. So it's sustainable because we can go and look at the foods and go, yeah, we can get that here. So do I know how much protein on, I'm on at the moment? No. Got no idea. Do I care? No. Goes against a lot of things, right? But who cares? Who cares? You need to be trying different things for it to work. And again, we're at that stage where we just needed to try something. Yeah. I'm not a big fruit eater. I'm happy to eat heaps of vegetables, but I've never been a big fruit eater. So yep. that's, a, that's worked well for me. I don't know how it'd go for some. If Do I know what macros my wife's on? No. Do I care? No. Because this is just a total paradigm shift for us. The photos and the clothes, they will speak the truth, okay? The photos and the clothes, remember, we're treating the body, and the wonderful thing that's happened already is the mind. Yes, definitely the mind. So her whole, her whole mind and just her outlook has changed, so in nine days, it's been worth it. It's been worth it, whereas all the other ones we went on, it was hard, it was burdensome, it was monotonous. Oh, ridiculous meals I used to have to cook that no one else in their right the, mind would make eat. And the family was eating different. Yeah. So they felt isolated and ostracized. That's not what you want to do. Here, we're doing it as a family. You know, so she feels included and encouraged with the family. Again, if you can relate to this, please share this with your friends and family to watch because this is a real person. This is the champion. I'm real. She's the champion, okay? Is there anything more you want to add to that for the lots people? Lots of water. Go drink lots of water. Yep. And guys, expect, expect the first three to five days to be pretty rough. Well, yeah. it was for me. It wasn't for her. A lot of people say, my daughter's raising a hand in the background. The Our teenagers one, found yes, it yes. tricky. They found We've it hard. We've got two yeses at the back there. Oh, one no, one yes. So oh, it's a 50-50. So again, it, it depends on you guys. Like if you're used to eating and all the rest of it, but you just need to understand the purpose behind it. Again, do your research. We, we would love to take you on the journey with us. This is nine days. Um, we've seen the results. If, you, if you've got like ideas and like recipes for things, I would love to hear that because I, I know that within six months, I'll be thinking, what else can I add to this diet? So, yeah. 100%. And guys, if you want to Tell leave us. your comments below um, about what else you're doing, so what exactly are the combinations? Can you do one on, on cooking a meal? I've already had people say, can you shoot? videos of what exactly you cook and they need to see us cook a meal and the combinations that we put together. Happy to do that. We're going to post these every week here on our ZooTube channel and I guess the last thing is to give my wife, my queen, massive credit to get on here in front of the camera because it's tough. It's tough um, and it's just wonderful to have my wife here relating to people out there. You're the media man. Yeah, but just relating to people out there, just about the truth. This is just this proper is, people. Yeah. None of this Instagram rubbish look. I'm no Insta body. Look, all that sort of stuff. Nor do, do you want to be. I don't want to be an Insta body, no. So many of you don't want those Insta bodies, you know. You just want to help to get into a decent shape, treat your body so your mind's right. 
and uh, the weight will follow follow suit. So That's looking so forward great. to seeing you again next time on our YouTube channel. But until then, I guess we should Ask say, questions. boom, get a touch. Bye.